Hello and welcome to another Mac Apper video review. I'm Michael Mastretta and today we're going to talk about a really cool product for kind of the artist in you, the creative side of you. And if you do any image editing or drawing and you want to get some of your work onto the computer, this application is just, it's like Photoshop for drawing. That's how amazing it is. And it basically allows you to paint on your computer. And this is called ArtRage, ArtRage 2, 2.5 now actually. They have a free version, but the paid for version is much more powerful. What I actually have a graphics tablet here, but you can use it just like a mouse. And you can just draw on your image. And it comes out, so right now I have the oil paint selected. And you, you can draw on your image, you can do designs, whatever you want. And you're actually drawing. And of course you have all the options so you can make your brush thinner, of course. But you can do more complex things, right? Like you can change the color if you want. Of course you can change the thinner, so if you want it just to be a thin instead of having all the strokes inside of there you can do that I'm just turn up the size so you can see that it's a very nice interface and as you can see the paint acts like real paint so if you have paint that's mixing together it, it actually makes a new color which is it, it's it's more fun than just drawing on top of something and it, it, it just going over because it's like the paint is wet so for example let me take some blue paint here and draw over the red paint and of course we're going to come up with this purplish mixture but when I lift my mouse and I go draw somewhere else it's going to st stay that purplish until I just like clean off my mouse and now it's back to that normal blue and of course you can turn auto clean off and on and lots of cool options here now you have a bunch of different tools down here you have um, a scroller so you can just be like a roller pretty much you have one of my favorite ones that is actually this is a smudger so it doesn't actually have any paint but you can actually smudge just some of your work a little bit so if I make this a little touch smaller you can actually just be smudging the edges of your work off and it, you can lead to some, some pretty artistic results and of course if you turn your tablet pen over if you click the eraser button you're actually just gonna go right into an eraser mode and you can just fine-tune that then they also have different textures so let's say you want a marker this is just a plain old marker but uh, a crayon is a very cool one and you're drawing just like a crayon you can turn some of the pressure down here and if you're using a pressure sensitive tablet like this you can go light and it will just do a little pressure and then dark and it will do a lot of pressure and it's just a lot of fun so let's actually just make a new document here and when you make a new document you have a lot of options you can uh, change the roughness of it you can change the the type of paper you're working on. Let's just create a standard uh, new one with a normal scale. And they have a bunch of stencils here. This is in the pay for version. So let's say I want to do some comic book effects. I just click the stencil down there and choose a color and choose a brush. And then you can just basically paint over the stencil. And it's just like a stencil would act in real life, right? You're just, only the pal will appear on the actual thing and then when I click the stencil button again I click uh, hide all stencils and I close that there you go you got the pow thing there and you can continue drawing whatever you want to draw around there so very cool stuff in there of course it also has layers so this little palette over here you can add a layer and or lots of layers and you can draw on top of the layer and of course you can hide a layer view a layer and then they also have, which is very interesting, they have lots of different blending modes. So if you want uh, shadow or highlight or a whole bunch of options in here. Like, it looks like just a program they're going to have a lot of fun in, but it's actually very powerful. Now let me show you one of my favorite uses of this program is when you're actually editing images. So let's just close this down and open up an image that I have in my desktop here. It's an, actually an image I took. And... So the idea with ArtRage is you're, you don't just draw or paint on top of an image. You're actually painting the image like it's right there. So let me show you what I mean. If I choose, let's say, a, a bluish color, it's going to be blending in with the color from the painting. So you can get some very interesting results. Let me just tap the Enter button and make all my palettes disappear. Get it out of the way. And I can actually just start painting the road. And you can use oil painting, of course. You can you can bring back your options and turn down the loading or turn up the thinner to make it look a little thinner. Bring down some of the pressure sometimes. And you can just paint along here, right? And it's actually like you're interacting with your digital photos, which is one thing I didn't really like about digital because you never really get to actually 
interact with them but this way you can actually paint on top of them and it's actually blending your colors in with the actual colors in the picture of course you can do a whole lot more complex things with this right you can um, of course do stencils add layers you're basically editing your photo but by drawing on top of it um, let's say I turn the thinner down and I put some metallic on it you can get a more metallic -y look to it and you can do some pretty cool effects you can add a layer you can add more photos onto there it's just an overall really great application really polished and I, I don't think I've ever seen an application that does so many things and does them so well so check out Art Rage it's an awesome application and we're actually having a giveaway so look right under this video and you can enter the giveaway as well thanks this has been another Mac Apper video review